guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna go through 10 pairs of shoes that you need for summer. So I was a little bit hesitant on making this video just because I haven't actually gone shoe shopping in a really long time, mostly because this summer, a lot of our plans are probably going down the drain because of COVID. There hasn't really been a need for me to go crazy on the shoe shopping like I usually do. And the second reason is because I'm actually trying to live a lot more minimally and I'm trying to cut down on my spending also so all in all together I thought this actually is a good idea for a video because I want to share with you 10 shoes that you can own that are really timeless and can really carry you throughout I guess as long as the shoes are in good condition so for me a lot of these shoes like I said I've worn them for many many years or I have recently purchased them but I can see myself wearing it for years to come depending on how great I take care of them I guess but the thing that I wanted to point out here also is that the importance of the style of the shoe so not necessarily the exact shoe per se but sort of looking for the type of style so this is going to be how the video is going to be moving forward because since some of the shoes are probably out of stock I'm mostly going to refer to the style or the color that I think you know if you have these 10 pieces then you probably wouldn't need to buy any other pairs of shoes and I know that 10 sounds already pretty excessive especially since this is only for summer but I really did want to cover a range of things from casual to going on vacation and just having any type of occasion I wanted to wrap everything so some of the shoes might not apply to you so of course pick out the ones that you find are suitable once again personally this is going to be highly personal everyone's uses are going to be different but I'm going to be explaining how I use them and why I think that these are going to be timeless pieces and hopefully for you as well I thought I would structure this video by going with the shoe that is the flattest all the way to the highest shoe because the flat ones are gonna relate to everybody and then if you're not a fan of heels then you know you don't necessarily have to stay around for that but I wanted to start off by talking about the smaller heeled shoes I'll also leave links for items that are maybe not around but similar ones so you can hopefully shop around as well so to start off I have two flats for you and the first ones that I want to start off with are these Adidas slides and the reason why these are super essential for summer is because number one they're waterproof and number two they're not flip-flops so they don't have the annoying thing in the middle that have to go between your toes you can just slide your feet right in when I purchased them I honestly didn't think I would wear them as much as I do right now but they're honestly one of my most worn pairs and I bring them pretty much every time I go traveling I wear them around hotels I don't like to walk around a hotel room in my bare feet I feel like that's really gross and also I don't like to walk around pool areas in my bare feet unless if I'm just about to go swimming but if I'm just walking around searching for an area to sort of place my stuff I would just never go bare feet but anyway I feel like these are also really casual they actually go with a lot of casual wear as well so if you just want to wear your biker shorts or if you want to wear sweats I feel like these also go along with it they're kind of this like athleisure style that's still super in right now and I I really really recommend investing in a pair I think that they are not the cheapest they're like around 30 to 40 dollars I think when I got them they were on sale at the Aritzia warehouse sale but I can't remember how much it was now after having worn them for over three years now I can honestly say that I highly recommend them and they're worth every penny okay so the second pair of flats that I wanted to share with you are a little bit more on the feminine side so it's these ones from Zara and the reason why I 
chose these is because number one they are super neutral so these ones are white or you guys can also go with black or nude whatever it is they're also slide-ins so it's really easy to go with any summer outfit I find that these ones that I have because of the edge of the shoe it really gives that summer vibe and because of how neutral it is it honestly goes with all of my summer outfits if I just feel like wearing flats that day so I will leave some links below because I have a feeling these exact ones are running out but the important thing here is once again the style so finding flat neutral ones and since it's summer I don't really recommend going with leather that's why I recommend going with this type of material whether it's cloth or I don't know what you call these this straw type material because it then becomes more breathable and your feet are not just soaking in your sweat or melting off the leather so that's why these ones I feel are really essential for summer and they're flat for people who are not a fan of heels the next item that I have for you are my air Air Force One sneakers and honestly I feel like this isn't even a summer essential I think this is an all seasons essential these are honestly my favorite white sneakers they are so worth the penny I have worn these through and through there's so many different styles but I really like these ones that I have I actually because I have small feet so I ended up going to the kids section and I was able to save on my purchase because I'm not paying for the adult version so if you also have small feet I really recommend going to the kids section first because you might be able to find the exact same shoe and pay way less the other ones I recommend are the Stan Smiths I actually had them before but if I had to choose one I would choose my Air Force ones which is why it made it into this list but if you're not a fan of Air Force ones another ones that I recommend are the Stan Smiths so moving on to the next section we're starting to get into heels and once again we're gradually going higher and higher so these ones I'm gonna start off with the flatter ones and also ones that are thicker so it's still pretty easy to wear the first pair of shoes that I wanted to show you guys are these sandals here and I feel like these are actually pretty common they sell these almost everywhere I got these from forever 21 last year I don't know if they have the exact same style but I will try to find a link to them or find similar ones the ones I had before these ones were from Steve Madden and the heel that you're looking for is just a really kitten heel they honestly to me when I wear them I almost don't even notice that they're heel just because of how small and thick they are and I really like the strappiness I usually like to go for colors like white black I feel like they go with everything I'll leave a picture of the black ones so you can see and compare them with the white ones I have but I feel like this type of style is definitely an essential and I really recommend having them for your summer wardrobe so the second pair that I wanted to share with you are mules and honestly I have had three pairs of mules in the last I don't know two years and I find that whenever I buy mules that are this type of height they honestly go with everything and it's super easy to walk in and it really elevates your outfit without sacrificing the comfort so the ones I'm sharing with you today are the Zara ones because I haven't worn them yet so I'm like not really ashamed to show it in front of the camera and also because I think they're actually still on the website I will also go and grab two of the other ones I've had that are older I just want to show you how much I've worn these I think I'm gonna try and clean it off but this is another example of a mule in a neutral color and I've honestly worn this so much and it goes with so many different outfits that you can see just from the wear how much I have gotten my use out of them typically these are actually not that expensive you can find them in multiple places so I'll try to leave a couple below they're generally pretty comfortable and the break-in time is quite minimal as well I've worn mules in almost every single outfit and I feel like it really goes pretty much with anything I've had gray ones before I've had brown ones before once again the key here is to pick a neutral color so having a neutral mule is definitely an essential it goes with dresses it actually does elevate and go with shorts especially if your shorts are not denim if your shorts are silk or linen material it goes really really well with these types of outfits the next pair of shoes that I wanted to share with you are these 
these ones here. So once again, the key here and the style here that I wanted to really emphasize are actually pointy closed toe heels. Once again, these ones are a thicker heel and they're not that high. I would say these are about two inches. The reason why this style is an essential for me is because I think it's super important to have closed toe shoes as well, especially if your pedicure is in the process of disintegrating. <laughs> these are the perfect types of shoes to have in order for you to hide your messy little pedicure until you can get your next one. And and also, once again, the key here is to stick with neutral colors. I also like the pointy ones a little bit better because I feel like it really edges up your outfit. If you guys are ever debating between what to wear, I feel like having really sharp edges into your outfits. So for example, like a really pointy heel, it really elevates your outfit. These heels are honestly also perfect for work. I used to wear them and I say used to because I'm obviously not going into the office anymore, but I used to wear them for work all the time, especially because I'm still able to walk around with them all day and be really comfortable. The next pair of heels that I wanted to share with you once again are really practical and also pretty comfortable in my opinion are strappy heels and the reason why I wanted to include strappy heels into this mix as well is because I find that for these I know some people may not prefer them you might slide off or you don't feel like your feet's totally secure or maybe when you're sitting down the shoe keeps on falling off of your feet or something so I also wanted to include these types of strappy heels the ones with a backing so it ties and wraps around your feet nicely and it doesn't really fall off so the example here that I have are these ones from Zara I'll also try to find a link to them this style was extremely popular last year I feel like almost everyone or at least all the girls that I follow on Instagram had these in white which I also have and I also got them in black because they really do go with everything the heel is also quite tiny so it is overall really comfortable if you don't like the style another example would be something like this and these shoes I've also worn a lot I wanted to also highlight that I tend to go for more natural materials such as like the wood and that type of coloring for the summer these heels I've also worn all throughout work and they just really elevated my outfit and also kept my feet in place and these shoes I always would wear it with like a white dress or something not only did it really tie my outfit together it also made the outfit look a lot more summery instead of just a plain white dress It had the brown and the wood tones to it. So it made it more summery as well Okay, so to the last category of shoes We are going pretty high now and the first pair that I wanted to share with you are these wedges here I feel like these wedges are really timeless because they've actually been around for years so This is by the brand Saludos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this brand has been around for so many years. I feel like this style still exists today. Basically, these are just the most classic type of summer wedges. They are quite comfortable because there's not really a gap here. Your weight is still distributed quite evenly throughout the whole shoe. I do personally find that this part is a little bit tight on my feet personally. So I really recommend trying them out first or even looking for another brand that sells this style of shoe but I wanted to include these shoes because not only are these much higher so they're about three inches so if you want to wear you know a nice pair of heels with your summer dress but also these honestly go with all my really summery looking dresses and the tie at the top when you wrap around it on your leg just looks super cute and the other reason I really like it is because when I was deciding on the color I decided on this white color so it really went with everything the the next pair of shoes are these neutral nude heels so these ones are also quite high they're around three inches but once again because of the thickness it brings the comfort up back a little bit and these ones I got from Steve Madden so I got these last year because I wanted to get a pair of heels for the wedding if you guys didn't know last year I was a bridesmaid for the first time in my life but anyway I wanted to get a pair of nice shoes for the wedding and I didn't know that these shoes would end up being such an essential so as I said before I didn't really emphasize on color 
color that much but in this particular incident out of black white gray or nude I really really recommend going with the nude because these honestly especially in the summertime will go with any dress it will go with a black dress it will go with a white dress it will go with a pink dress basically anything and I think that it is also such a cute summer color I wore it all of last summer beyond just the wedding I wore it with some culottes I also wore it with some skirts it just really goes with everything and because it's a block heel it also brings up the comfort like I said before because it's really important for me to be able to walk around in my heels instead of constantly having to feel like I'm dying on a stiletto heel so if you are also like me comfort is extremely important so I would definitely um, choose the block heel over the stiletto heel the last pair of shoes that I wanted to recommend are a black pair of high heels and these ones are gonna be a contrast to the ones I've already shown you so the ones I just showed you I 100% think every single person on this earth needs a pair like this but these ones are a little bit more stylish I just got these from Fashion Nova these ones are actually kind of the cheap versions of the actual designer ones but obviously I cannot afford designer shoes right now so I have opted for these from Fashion Nova and I feel like these look pretty much identical the reason why I chose these ones are because even though it is a stiletto heel I still wanted that as an option in the summertime for a little bit more formal events or if you want that really sleek heel I chose the black one because the previous one I wanted to show you new to go with all the summer stuff but this one if you are going to a more formal event in the summer or if you're going to something that you wanted to have all black in these types of shoes look really great and the strappiness also ties in the summer theme really well as well so that was pretty much the 10 pairs of shoes that I think you need for the summer so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any other ideas of summer shoes that you think are essential as well and I would love to check them out because I do love shoes even though I'm trying not to shop right now I do still love collecting them so after looking at them I'll make my decision but anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye